The Supreme Court on Tuesday set aside the controversial Islamic divorce practice of instant triple talaq, or the talaq vidit. In a 32 verdict, the top court said instant triple talaq under which women have been divorced in one go even over email, WhatsApp and letters was against Article 14 of the Constitution, which guarantees the right to equality. Live updates the bench, comprising five judges of different faiths, deliberated for three months before issuing its order. The judgment, which is being hailed as historic, came two years after Shai Arabano, a Muslim woman from Uttarakhand, and, approached the apex court after her husband of 15 years sent her letter the word talik written thrice before leaving her. The court later tagged the petitions of four other women, with similar cases, with Bono's petition. Here are the parties to the case Shai Arabano, 36 It was Shai Arabano who challenged the controversial practice before India's top court. Shayara, who holds a degree in MA Sociology, was divorced by her husband, Rizwin Ahmed, by pronouncing the word talik thrice through a letter sent to her on October 15, 2015 when she was visiting her parents' house. Shayara, who hails from Uttarakhand's Hempordaya in Kashapur, filed a petition against triple talik, halal and polygamy in the Supreme Court on February 23, 2016. After divorcing her, Rizwin, a property dealer in Allahabad, took away her two kids Irfan, 13, and Muskin, 11, due to which she suffered from depression for many months. She alleged her in-laws also forced her to undergo abortion six times, mainly with the intention of killing her. A distraught Shayara even consulted a local cleric. But he told her that the talik was valid, I welcome and support the judgment. This is a historic day for Muslim women, Bano said after the verdict. Gulshan Parveen, 30 Gulshan Parveen of Rampur in Uttar Pradesh filed a petition in Supreme Court asking for abolishing triple talik. In 2015, she alleged her husband sent her a talikana on a 10 rupees stamp paper when she was at her parents' home. The English literature postgraduate said she was subjected to domestic violence by him for dowry for over two years. My husband felt like it one fine day and suddenly both my two one year old son ridden and I were homeless, Parween was quoted as saying by NDTV. She refused to accept it, following which her husband approached a Ramper family court asking for dissolution of the marriage based on the Talakana. Gulshan, the youngest of six, married in April 2013. Her husband was arrested in 2015 on charges of dowry harassment and criminal intimidation. Afreen Rahman, 28 Afreen Rahman got married in 2014 after finding a match through a matrimonial portal. However, after a couple of months, she alleged her in-laws started mentally harassing her for dowry. Later, they even started beating her and in September 2015 they asked her to leave their house, she alleged. She went back to her parents' home and received a letter via speed post announcing Talak in January 2016, it's a beginning towards the abolition of triple Talak in the country. A law against triple Talak is what we wanted and the court has directed the government to do the same, the cruelty that was happening against women in the name of triple Talak, wherein they were thrown out of the house like a pair of shoes, will now end, said the Amba hailing from Jaipur. Israt Jahan in Kolkata on Tuesday. Samir Janet Israt Jahan, 31A resident of Howrah in West Bengal, Israt Jahan was divorced by her husband Mortaza through a phone call from Dubai. In April 2015, her husband of 15 years, Mortaza, called and uttered the talic word thrice before hanging up. Mortaza had allegedly married another woman and took away their four children with him. I am very happy at the judgment. The Apex Court issued the right directive. Now I hope to get justice. I have been fighting for the past two years, said Jaha. She added that she is not against divorce, but wants the process to be fair. She and Mortaza both hailed from Bihar. The couple moved to Hara from Bihar in 2000, the year when they got married. The relationship between the couple got bitter after they had three daughters. Mortaza wanted to get married once again in the hope that the new wife will bear him a son, and though he and Israt had a son in 2010, the relationship never improved. Atiya Sabri, 28 Atiya Sabri, a resident of Saharanpur in western Uttar Pradesh is the last petitioner in the case. Her husband Wajid Ali, they were married in 2012 sent her a piece of paper announcing he was divorcing her. It was sent to her brother's office in November 2015, she approached the Supreme Court in January this year challenging the divorce and said that triple talik violates fundamental rights of women. She has two daughters, aged four and three. She alleged that after her second daughter, her in-laws tried to poison her and she had to be hospitalized. Her husband was arrested later and a trial is on. The verdict of the Apex Court will end the agony of Muslim women who have fallen victim of triple talik for none of their fault, she said. Bharatiya Muslim Mahila and Olin's co-founder Zakia Soman outside Supreme Court on Tuesday.
PTI Bharatiya Muslim Mahila Andolan BM Math Top Court made the Bharatiya Muslim Mahila Andolan BMMA a party in the case after taking cognizance of a survey which said 92% of Muslim women want abolition of triple talaq. Led by Zakia Soman, the Mumbai-based autonomous body has been fighting for citizenship rights of Muslims since it was formed in January 2007. The organization claims it has over 30,000 members in 15 states. It's a good and balanced decision. Now we hope and expect the government to make a law against triple talaq the soonest, said Nassim Akhtar, the Jaipur convener of the organization. With inputs from Salagamad in Jaipur, S. Raju in Meerut and Tanmay Chatterjee in Calcutta, 